Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays Bjorning and we have taken care of our little bit of research and it's time for us to get back and find a few more nails and these nails are just all over the place so we'll be taking a little bit of a tour of Galtrev as we do this alright let's see what we got here Actually, I guess we should go up and see if we can speak to Dai Hulan or Idwal. That would be a good idea. No, we don't need a... Oh, hello there. The old woman of the mountain says we should not trust Odiad. Oh, you don't want to hear about my opinions on her. Are you a visitor from here in Galtrev? I wish you could have seen it before. It was the greatest village in all of Dunland. Now it is not but a labor camp for the White Hand. But all the working men have gone, or perhaps they were taken. The old and the women are left to bear heavy burdens. For myself, I cannot even le le lift the boxes I am supposed to carry. I am much too slow for this, and I am always falling behind. All right. So I need to bring this to the first work sites overseer. Well, let's see, that means getting like this way. Yeah, this is the way to the first overseer. Uh, so. In other words, these boxes have not been delivered because they were putting someone who's not strong enough to carry the boxes on duty for carrying them. Yeah, these guys are smart! Alright, there you go. Okay, that's one package done with. Oh, hey, hang on here. What have we got? Another nail! And another nail. Y you would think, though, that with them doing all that hammering there, that they'll be needing nails themselves. I mean, this is not exactly an environment where you want to be going loaning people nails, especially considering that it's not like they can give them back to you afterwards, since. Well, they're being put into stuff. You would think they would provide enough nails for all the stuff they need to be done. I mean, if you don't, people are going to do things like use fewer nails than necessary, and then your siege engine all falls apart when you're in the middle of battle. Actually, that won't be a bad idea, considering that these aren't exactly my friends that are going to be using these siege engines. Yeah! That's it. Use only a third of the nails you need for it. That would be perfect. Perfect for the... Perfect for the all here, at least. Alright. Now, let's see a few more here. Maybe these are... Batches of nails as opposed to individual nails because I can't think how much impact 15 nails is going to make. Alright, well, let's take care of that and head up here. And now we are going to go into the upper parts of the village. Where we will maybe find a couple more nails. Yeah, maybe find a couple more nails, and in addition, this is where we could speak with someone who may have something to tell us. Yeah. All right. Well, hello, Idwal. I was asked to talk to you. This lane belongs to the Ox Clan. You will not leave here alive. Well, that was an ex... You must not learn the hands of the Ox... You have much to learn from the hands of the ox. Oh, wow. Hey, I was just coming here. I was asked to speak with you. 
And what do you do? You attack me. I mean, that is rude. R-U-D-E-A. I was trying to talk. All right, fine. Got my aim. Ha <laughs> ha! As soon as I turn to a berry, runs away. That. Okay, that's how the cow them turn into a bear. All right. Anyway, there are a couple others here, but you only need to talk to one of them. Now we go back to Katrin and find out what she has to say. All right. She'll be done this way. And, of course, I'll have to go and pick up a couple more boxes. You know, it's really hard doing all this work and trying to start a revolution at the same time. Okay. He didn't like me talking to him. I did not think to see you again, Devoriad. But I was wrong, yeah? I heard the cries of the pathetic ox from here. <laughs> Folk of many clans live in Galtrev. But those who have grown wealthy from the gifts of Saruman float to the top. We of the lower village work hard just to get by. But the taskmasters in the upper village live off our labors and return the products of them to the wizard. Perhaps you can be of some use to the Hebogluth, the clan of the Falcon. We stand against those who have thrown in with the Saruman. Okay. Even the folk of Galtrev are put to work to further the wizard's aims. Perhaps of many clans have listened to the promises of Saruman, and where his words are not enough, his gold does the trick. Even the folk in Galtrev are put to work to further the wizard's aims. At the lumber camps northeast of here, trees are felled and the wood prepared for the carting to Isengard. Go there, steal their axes, and throw them into the pond east of the lumber camp. Even if they fish them out, the rust will make the axes unreliable and difficult to use. Members of the Dragon Clan may have brought the axes to other settlements in Prengrith. Those will be due as well. A simple act of rebellion, maybe, but its effect could be sweeping. So the main idea is to kill them near the lumber camp. But if you killed other some elsewhere in the area, then they would also count. So that was an interesting way of saying, yeah, okay, you kill those two because they're all about this. They're all of a suitable level. All right. So there. All right, let's... Next box, this one is to go to the second Overseer. Yeah. All right, good. And back down this way. That That is a tricky jump. Sometimes I'm not quite in the right position and completely fail it. All right, and here is the one for the second work site. Yeah, not grateful in the least. Well, what do you expect from a half work? It's more like a half wit. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, thank you. That yes, that's half of what you need, right? All right, now back around here. Anybody have any nails around here? No. Th <laughs> They're trying to cheer on. <laughs> Wait, now that's what you call habit. They probably had that arena there for a long time. Uh, having all sorts of things going on there. Nothing going on there now, of course. But they're cheering anyway because they got nothing else to do. Wouldn't make it look like they're doing something, probably. All right. Oh, all right. And here's a third box. Uh, let's 
see. And we need to take this probably to the third worker's overseer. Right? Uh, oh, up here. Mm. Should have just... Right. Never do it the easy way. All right. There you go. Okay. There you go. Hey, okay, that is... See, I need four more nails. And, of course, I now need a fourth box. And... Oh, wait a moment. I just see a nail? Oh, no, that's the fourth box. <laughs> oh, well. And this is to be taken to the gate. See what I mean? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and back down this way. Now to the gate to... Was it Terrible Tom? Terrifying Tom? Troublesome Tom? Tin-plated Tom? Tom Fool Tom? Ruthless Tom. Oh, okay, not alliterative. Oh, well. All right, there we go. Now, now he can be sat. Oh, no. Those half-orcs are never satisfied. Oh, hang on. I smell the... I sense the rust of a missing nail. Well, okay, that, no, that just doesn't. That just doesn't have a ring to it. Okay. So let's get back on our trail. We need still have three more of those left, and we could speak to Gethin, and he could tell us what's going on. Well, maybe not what's going on, but at least we could tell him, all right, you've met your quota for the day. And I'm sure he'll be happy about it. Ooh. Nail. All right. Any more about here? Yep. Oh, there's one up here. This is the primary market. Okay, yeah, it looks like two nails there. Alright, and anything else? Other than the milestone? Uh, well. No, I don't want the... I don't... I'm not looking... Mailbox. <laughs> uh, everything. Nails! I want a nail! Ah, there we go. Even if I'd like this to be used as an example for want of a nail, the battle was lost, or something like that. Alright, here we go. Okay, good. Here are your nails. The Ukhquirod requires us to give welcome to the Duvoriad. My nails! So many! Did I? I did not even know how many had gone missing. This was surely but a small task for an adventurer like yourself, but you have helped me greatly. All right, and let's go this way. Ah, thank you, Pineclaw. What a kind soul you must be to help the foolish people here in Galtrev. Once, I might have been able to show you a proper hospitality. Now, alas, all I can offer you is friendship. Uh, little though it may be worth. Good grief. He looks like he should be retired. All right. Well, yes, that's because they took all the people who are young and strong away through the wars. Okay. Done. You're not so bad, Pike Lowe. 
Has anyone ever told you that before? When I whip those sluggers, I could swear they're even less productive than before. Someday you should show me your flogging techniques. They seem to be most effective. Well, get moving. Find more work so I can finally finish this nap. Okay, well, at least he's in a good mood, relatively. Okay, you had something else you wanted to say? What a relief it is to be done such a kindly traveler in Galtrev. Flint Ironheart is finally distracted. Perhaps now I can rest. Ah, all right, let's see what we got here. Right, because this is... Yeah, oh well, just take that for the money. Many foul things dwell in the shadows. I fear wolves will be the least of our troubles. You have done a great service to us by helping me with the labor pine claw. So I will try to help you as well. Perhaps I can give you news that will be of interest to you. Yes, uh, could you tell me what kind of goods are in this box? And where they're headed? Ah, well, I know that Saruman has rallied his white hand servants to oversee the delivery of the weapons and goods that are manufactured in Dunland. I can only imagine that these items are going to supply a great war. You are free to peek in these boxes if you wish, uh, but do not let the white hand see you at it. Alright, so I need to... Examine a few boxes around here. Here's a box. Now, there is nothing in the quest mechanics that cares whether or not there are any white hand servants in the area. That was just the suggestion and not anything to do with the quest. So, opening a box in front of them is not going to cause you to automatically lose the quest. Alright, that's Q. Of course, he's looking the other way, so it really doesn't matter. And he might just be happy that I delivered a few things for him. Alright. So... Oh, yeah. View this way. Are they all strategically positioned so that the supervisor is looking the other way? Right there. Now, why a hunter needs a campsite here, I haven't the slightest idea, but... Eh, Alright. Well, if he were paying attention, he should have been able to see that one, but... Ah, uh, half works. And of course, one right behind Ruthless Tom here. Okay, let's see if it. I think the rest are up in the upper areas of town. Ah. Oh, actually, this is probably not the best horse to ride in these parts. First of all, having a horse in the first place, but if I were really role-playing it in a strict fashion, it would probably not be a good idea to go around riding in a horse, especially, I think, a white horse like this. All right, let's see. There should be... Now, these are the rep benders. Here's an Isengard shipment. <coughs> now, get Isengard rep. I think this is the. I think this is the horse for Dunlin rep. I mean, it'd be logical. I know it is a rep horse. It'd be logical showing the Dunlin rep horse here. Alright, well, we're getting near the end of the episodes. So I'll find these last two crates, and I will meet you at the next quest point in our next episode of Piney Plays The Beorning.